So if you've been following along, this is our 7th Gen Civic. This is an O2 Civic. It's the LX. Um, if you've been following along, we have been doing a uh, video series on doing a do-it-yourself paint job on this car. The budget-friendly do-it-yourself paint job. And we finally completed it. It's been done a couple months now. I've just written. I've been driving it and enjoying it. I haven't really had time to, you know, just do a video about it. So I'm going to just, uh, let's look at it real quick and we'll give you the rundown on it. And um, just talk about the things we did to it. And there's a few other things I've done uh, off camera as well. We'll go over all that. So, yeah, a little walk around. It came out really nice. Really nice. Really pleased with it. I really like the color. A nice flake to it. So we done all the body work on the car. Um, it had a lot of dents. Probably had like 40 dents in the car. So we fixed all that. Uh, body work that primed it. They ended up having to prime some of it twice. Sealed it. Base clear. Got three cuts clear. We done a cut and buff on it. And I think it's turned out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. So um, I think all together money wise. Like I said I didn't buy the cheapest of the cheap stuff. I bought good um, good value products and um, I think I had around as far as actual paint job sealer base clear might have had a thousand in it maybe maybe a thousand and I had you know material left over uh, adding in primer sandpapers we might have had between 12 13 14 hundred dollars maybe maybe which is still isn't a bad deal I mean you can probably get somebody to paint the whole car for that what you're going to get and the results and how long it's going to last is not going to be good so do it yourself you can ensure the quality of the job you're getting you're going to know what products you're getting you might request high-end products and pay for that you don't know what they're putting on the car at the end of the day that's what we got so let's go over um in detail some of the things i did to it so we put a new aftermarket bumper on it because ours was damaged it's just a cheap ebay grill um this piece is generally chrome uh we just that's is this has been wrapped for years you know just wrap that black um, these headlights were some cheap eBay ones I've had on this car for a while. They look really bad. Re-cleared those. Other than that, let's see, the hood was in really bad shape. Had a really bad dent right there in the front. So we fixed all that. What else did we do to it? You know, the handles and moldings were already color matched. The mirrors were black, so we color matched those. And the car does have some bugs on it. I've been driving it. I just done a quick little wipe down on it. We replaced these trims right here that were in really bad shape um we put new visors on it because ours were in bad shape we repainted well we put trim paint on like all these other trims and stuff the ones we didn't replace like that and like the uh yeah the wiper cow the wiper stuff like that we did retint the car recently but it was like that before i think we need to get some new tail lights these are cracked i might go up to the 03 up tail lights they look a little better it will candy them darker or something this again we wrapped this piece which is chrome the emblem holes there we welded those up and shaved those that came out really good can't tell they were ever there we've done a no this is the same rear bumper quarter panel had a this this quarter panel is terrible it's trashed we've done the best we could getting it out had to weld up some holes that had some rust on it from a previous repair and we just mudded it up done the best we could on it it's not perfect but it looks pretty good i'm happy with it some other dents um just dents on this side i think that's pretty much it for what we did on it i'm real happy with it real happy with it um what's what's some of the things we got left to do to it that haven't finished yet if you notice the trim here is not installed neither of these so i haven't put those on yet because um, I'm planning on scuffing the roof back up and doing something a little custom on it. I've always wanted to spray like real heavy flake and I've never done it. I've always wanted to but never really had something I wanted to do it on. So just to try it out, I got some, I'll show it to you here in just a minute. But I got some flake and um, it's a green blue chameleon flake. So I'm going to just scuff up the roof and I'm going to flake it out and then we'll re-clear it. And I'll show you how we do that. We'll learn together because I've never done it. But that's why I haven't put the trims back on yet. So once I finish that, then I'll put the trims back on. We'll be com basically complete with the body on the car. Yeah, so this is the color of the flake. It's a greenish blue metallic. 
I got a little purple and I think it'll look real good because it's really close to a you know the color that we got on the car so we're just gonna flake out just the roof panel it's gonna look really cool so stay tuned for that other than that that's pretty much it we didn't do nothing too crazy to it and uh yeah i hope you guys um like the results of it i hope you learned something if there's something you know i didn't really cover on the other videos or if you're curious how we got to this point make sure you go back a few videos and watch this there's probably three or four videos spanning uh how we've done this car in its entirety other than that there's a few things i've done on the inside that i didn't show the shift boot was really nasty and just sticky and so it was like all this trim these trims were silver so i just repainted these trims trim black and um i found this is just something off ebay it was a uh, vehicle specific just a black um shift boot and it had the tan stitching to match our seats the steering wheel was really bad shape so i got this offline as well again vehicle specific as a pre-made cover that you sew on i'm not a seamstress they done a really good job on it but I'm not a seamstress. It's, it's not perfect, but it's not due to the product. It's uh, the installer, which is me. But I tried this all black, but I tried to get them to uh, give me a beige um, stitching to match the interior and to match this, but they didn't have it. So, Oh, well. Other than that, recently we had to replace our power steering rack and pinion, which I did. You can't really see. You can see a little bit of shiny stuff that was kind of a pain changing that I changed that and I also changed all the um, lines the hard lines and the soft lines to deal with all that because it was all in bad shape and we ended up having to change our clutch slave cylinder and master cylinder and while I was there I upgraded the line to stainless I had planned on video on both of those projects but I just didn't have time and uh, it takes a lot of extra time um, to do that when you're doing a job like a one hour job might turn to two or three or four or five hours by the time you video explain everything um edit video upload so sometimes you just need to get something done you just really don't have time for all that extra but this is where we're at with the car right now i'm done with it. i'm just gonna keep driving it and enjoying it. it's got three hundred twenty five thousand miles on it um i'm just gonna keep driving it not really nothing i plan on doing to it really unless something just strikes my eye but anyway Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, entire project. Hope you learned something. And uh, something you want to see on this car or questions about it, let me know. Um, so look forward to the next thing on this car. Unless it's going to be some kind of repair or something that comes up. It's going to be flaking out the roof. Hopefully in the next couple months when I get caught up. i got a lot of stuff going on here at the house. But check out my last video as well. When we flipped the um, uh, 03 Suburban for a $12,000 profit. Check that out if you want to learn how I buy and sell cars for resale to make extra money. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you uh, subscribe, please. Um, and uh, if we have something, uh, some more stuff coming up soon, so just stick to me and check back. Uh, we appreciate it. Thanks.